Text 4.37 As a blazing fire burns wood to ashes, Arjuna, so does the fire of transcendental knowledge reduce all karmic reactions to ashes. Here, Krishna continues to stress the purifying effects of knowledge. He gives an example in which he seems to say that even the manifest prarapta karma of one can be destroyed by knowledge. However, only bhakti has this power. The opinion that the knowledge under discussion has such power due to its fructation in bhakti is supported by Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada's commentary on this and the following verse. Perfect knowledge of the self and super-self and of their relationship is compared herein to fire. This fire not only burns up all reactions to impious activities, but also all reactions to pious activities, turning them to ashes. There are many stages of reaction. Reaction in the making, reaction fructifying, reaction already achieved, and reaction a priori. But knowledge of the constitutional position of the living entity burns everything to ashes. When one is in complete knowledge, all reactions, both a priori and a posteriori, are consumed. In the Vedas, Priyat Aranyaku Banishad 4.4.22, it is stated, one overcomes both the pious and impious reactions of work. When we speak of transcendental knowledge, we do so in terms of spiritual understanding. As such, there is nothing so sublime and pure as transcendental knowledge. Ignorance is the cause of our bondage, and knowledge is the cause of our liberation. This knowledge is the mature fruit of devotional service, and when one is situated in transcendental knowledge, he need not search for peace elsewhere, for he enjoys peace within himself. In other words, this knowledge and peace culminate in Krishna consciousness. That is the last word in the Bhagavad Gita. In the previous verse, Krishna spoke of crossing the karmic ocean. When one crosses the ocean on the boat of knowledge, the water remains. This water is the prarapta karma that remains in the life of the Jivan Mukta. However, when wood is burned to ashes, the wood no longer remains. Similarly, bhakti, the furthest reach of knowledge, has the power to remove even one's prarapta karma, as Krishna takes over the body of his devotee, using him as his instrument. With regard to the aforementioned practices of sacrifice, in the next verse, Krishna again asserts the superiority of transcendental knowledge, the very fruit of such practices.